Hello everybody, this is Uppish, and this is another theory video. It's been a long time since I've did a, done a theory video, but anyways, uh, this is a Dark Souls 3 theory. It's probably just going to be a quick one, simply because, well, this, uh, this video, this topic is kind of quick. Anyways, I remember, I don't remember which YouTube did this theory. But there was a YouTuber that did a theory on Dark Souls 3 that said all the miracles, all the miracle spells, all the, yeah, all the miracle spells that involved, um, take, uh, I guess, uh, taking power from the gods, you know, uh, asking for the gods' favor, stuff like that, you know. Uh, the miracles that required you to praise the gods in order to cast powerfully. He made it. This person made a theory. I for, I seriously forgot who his name what his name was. But he made a theory that um, that uh, all of the miracles over time in each game become weaker are becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. Well. I think they're right. I honestly do. Uh, like, seriously, just the original, I think, I think I'm pretty sure the most powerful weapon in Dark Souls 1, or powerful miracle, was, uh, possibly the, uh, the Great Lightning Spear. But now, I'm pretty sure if you get Great Lightning Spear, if it is in Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure it is, that it's weak. At least Lightning Spear is so freaking weak now. However, here's my theory. As the god's magic gets weaker, the huma humanity's power gets stronger. Pyromancies. Seriously, pyromancies can be so fudging strong. Pyromancies are coming out of humans. Not the gods. And especially, and I mean... Especially, the dark pyromancies are powerful. Holy fudge. Right now I'm playing Dark Souls 3, and the pyromancy, the dark pyromancies are so freaking powerful at higher levels. Like level, I'm at like level 21 with faith and intelligence, and casting simply dark fire orb is so freaking powerful. <laughs> I died three times to the dancer of uh, the Wario Valley, but uh, at the fourth time, I smoked her because I barely hit her with my actual weapon. Almost nearly all of the damage I gave her was with Dark Fire Orb. <laughs> no freaking kidding. I... I absolutely just, I turned her to ash. It was so freaking devastating for her. <laughs> it's so awesome. And not only that, but other dark pyromancies. Like dark, uh, like dark fire snake. And, um, just, uh, like, and dark flame. They're powerful. Well, dark flame, eh, not too powerful, but. Dark Fire Orb and Dark Snake. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, that is so freaking cool. And uh, with certain enemies like the Lothric Knights right out in, right in front of the dancer's uh, boss room, one hit without their shields on kills them immediately. <laughs> it's That's just so awesome. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, about this little theory of mine. Do you think humanity in the games are... is rising to power over the gods? And that's why miracles are becoming weaker? Because pyromancy being the hu human soul. Apparently, I think it is the pyromanc pyromancy flames literally channel the, s the energy of the soul into your hand. I think that's the way it works. And it's like... Since the hu humans don't know how to control their own soul, well, it's technically like an uncontrollable flame. You gotta be careful with it. That's my theory. Now I think about it, that's two theories. 
Anyways, guys, seriously, leave my thought, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!